Hi, my name is Dr. Felicia and I'm a licensed psychologist and owner of Skillset Counseling. And today I'm going to be talking to you about some tips that you can um, implement when you are feeling overwhelmed and frustrated because there's been a lack of closure in your situation. You know, I talk a lot about spiritual abuse on this channel, but this is not just limited to spiritual abuse. The tips that I have that I'm going to share with you also apply to all sorts of psychological and emotional abuse. Okay. So the first thing that, um, that you can do when you feel overwhelmed because there was no closure in a particular situation is number one, accept the situation for what it is. And I know that a lot of clients that I work with have difficulty with this acceptance phase because it can increase your sense of helplessness. If you just have to accept what happened, then the reality of the lack of closure and the sense of injustice actually becomes more real to some people. And that is true. Those feelings can intensify at the beginning, but it's also to remember, it's also important to remember that um, no situation is hopeless all the time, right? Now, while that situation that you dealt with when in the past um, might have been very painful, you know, you might feel like, look, there's nothing that can be done now. Everything's passed on and you just feel helpless. It's it's important to remember that, um, that, that you can look at yourself now and realize that you have tools, you have different situations, you're a different person um, from who you were back then. And so it's really important to that, important to remember that rather. So the first tip is allow yourself to accept the situation. It doesn't mean you like the situation. It doesn't mean that the situation is fair. So many people don't want to hear accept the situation or accept what happened because they're hearing it means be okay with it. And you can accept something and not be okay with it at all. So the first thing, accept the situation. The second tip I have for you is to write the offenders a letter. Now, it doesn't, I'm not saying you um, should send it. Um, many times I recommend not doing so, at least not right away, right? But you want to write whoever it is that you are upset with or whoever you view as the offender in this situation, write them a letter, right? It could be multiple people. It could be a letter to a group of people. And just express yourself as bluntly and as honestly as you can. Talk about what they did. Talk about um, what happened to you as a result. You can talk about what you wish happened to them. You know, um, it's not it's not supposed to be a nice letter and it's not supposed to be something that's sugarcoated. You want to be as brutally honest as you can be in that letter, right? And, um, and then you can decide what you want to do with it. You can burn it. You can rip it up. You can keep it. Do what you do, what feels right to you at the moment. For some people, writing is, you know, they just don't want to write it. So another thing you could do is you could just do a voice recording of it um, and speak out what is um, in your heart. Um, another thing that you can do is you can actually rewrite the story. Um, and so what you can, you know, think about what happened, right? Maybe there was a situation where you wanted to speak up about something, you wanted to act differently and you didn't do it, Right. So in this situation, you would rewrite the story and say, this is what I did instead, or this is what happened. Or maybe you felt like you could do everything, but then, you know, you or rather you felt like you could do all you could do, but the situation didn't turn out the way you wanted to. So in this story, you would write out what actually happened. Um, and the reason why these, the first three tools that I mentioned are very powerful, number one, acceptance, number two, writing the offender's letter, and number three, rewriting the narrative is because it helps prepare you for the fourth step. And the fourth step is to um, look for a similar opportunity and act the way you wanted to act, right? A lot of times we get stuck, especially when we're feeling regret or we're just ruminating about things that have happened in the past. We think that that situation is done and that set the course of our lives forever. And I just don't agree with that. I think that with any situation that we face, um, there's going to always be a similar opportunity that will present itself um, so that you can act differently. So I want you to be on the lookout for that opportunity. And when you have accepted the situation for what it is, remember, accepting doesn't mean liking it. It just means accepting it. When you've written that letter, 
um, or just voiced how you feel toward those who offended you. And then also when you've rewritten that narrative, the way you wanted it to turn out, then you are going to be in a better place emotionally to respond to a similar situation where maybe you can achieve closure, right? And so doing these steps and performing these steps and not any particular order, but just doing them as you need to will help not only with that sense of closure that you didn't get before, but making you feel empowered. Remember, when we want closure a lot of times, it's because we feel helpless. We feel like nothing can be done and we feel like our hands are tied. And so when we go through these four steps, we actually are empowered to do something, to be on the lookout for that similar opportunity. And I also want to add another piece of advice is that when you are on the lookout for that similar opportunity, give yourself a small step that you plan to take. So it might be saying a particular phrase or saying, no, I don't agree with that, or even just not responding, right? Um, whatever it is that you wanted to do before, find a way to do it then, but find a way to do it in a way that's simple and easy for you to remember. Okay, so I'd love to hear from you in the comment section. Um, what other ways have you found closure that you feel would be helpful and that would also help other people that are um, watching? So um, if you haven't done so, please take a moment to like the video, share, and subscribe. And if you would like to book a consultation with me, go to my website, skillsetcounseling.com, click on the button for a free consultation, or you can also click on the link in the description box. All right, I hope you have a wonderful day that is filled with peace. Bye-bye.